everyone, I'm Rachel. Welcome to my wild backyard here in the Black Hills of South Dakota. It's been a while since we've gotten a reprieve from the cold and bitter snow and winds, so I thought I'd come outside real quick and enjoy some sunshine and tell you guys a little bit about this soap that I just made. It's an ombre effect soap and I used some Dead Sea mineral mud. And I decided to switch up the recipe just a little bit from one that I've made before several months back. I decided to add in some benzoin resinoid. It's a very, very thick resinoid, kind of like the myrrh resinoid that I'm also using with the frankincense. But benzoin smells kind of like an earthy vanilla. So I tried it out and it behaved really well in the soap. And I think it gives it a nice rounded out smell. So kind of like a spicy, earthy, sweet blend. I'm really liking the end result on this. So I'm going to take you into my kitchen right now and we'll make this together. My oils are at 103 degrees and my lye solution is within 10 degrees of that. I'm going to add in a little bit of kale and clay like I normally like to do. And then here's this nice Dead Sea mineral mud. It is so thick. So I'm going to put one nice big glop of that into my pouring pitcher. And that's what I'm going to be adding my soap batter to. And I'll just pour off half of it each time. So now I'm just kind of blending in that kale and clay with the whole thing. And then I'll add in my lye solution. And I usually add some sodium lactate in with that just to help harden up the bars a little bit. I am going to be doing a little bit of multitasking today while I'm at it. I have a new friend in town that has a farm. They have goats and chickens and other things. And she's going to trade some eggs and goat milk with me in exchange for some bread and soap. So I'm making some of her favorite smell. She loves patchouli. So I'm doing a blend of orange and light patchouli off to the side here just a few bars for her and then I have this cute little envelope sample mold that my neighbor just gave to me and I'll pour off a little bit for that as well so in my orange part I put in some turmeric just to help it be more orange for that side batch and then I put some indigo in for the purplish portion so I'm just going to measure off about six ounces for each of these so I made a slightly larger batch than I normally would and the only bowls that can even fit a double batch for me are these ginormous stainless steel bowls that I get from Sam's Club and then I have a giant glass mixing bowl except it recently cracked and broke which I am super sad about so I had to use this giant stainless steel one which is a little bit difficult to work with in this cramped counter space area all right so I got my orange and patchouli blend mixed up I'm just gonna do an in the pot swirl and get these into the molds and then we'll get back to the Dead Sea mineral mud soap So now I'm going to pour in my myrrh and benzoin resinoids. It's more affordable to buy them like that. Obviously not as high quality and concentrated as if you were to buy like the pure essential oil, but these work out just fine. It still smells really nice and it's actually in my budget and still has a lot of the same qualities. So I'm also adding in some frankincense with this as well and it's the more affordable version of that. I bought all of these from New Directions Aromatics out of Canada. 
So my plan for this soap is to pour off and fill up the pitcher with a Dead Sea Mineral Mud and mix it super well and then only pour off about half of that into the soap molds and then I'll fill it up to the top again, pour off half, fill it up to the top again, pour off half, etc. So that way it is slowly getting lighter and lighter and that's what gives it that ombre look. Once in a while I accidentally pour off a little too much and this first layer I should have gotten just a little bit thicker because the second layer as I was pouring it kind of fell through the first layer but it still looked cool in the end. I kind of think of it like a mountain range almost so even if it's a little bit uneven you could even deck it out with the spatula or do funky designs with it and it still turns out really cool. These essential oils behaved really well in this soap batter and it finally started to thicken up right near the end so I did kind of a fun drizzly top. I didn't even have to texture it. I just kind of let the rest of the soap batter fall as it may on the top and then I just finished it off with some Himalayan pink salt crystals. And then I sprayed it with some isopropyl alcohol to help prevent soda ash and covered these and I did not insulate them. I probably should have because they only partially gelled. So yeah, do that if you can. I did not have room on my counter to do that because I had to make some bread after that.
there is the finished product again, very similar to my other one. And I think everyone will be pleasantly surprised with the updates if you want to buy one of these. This has been one of my best sellers overall out of all the soaps I've ever made. I think the frankincense and myrrh and the Dead Sea mineral mud just kind of give it like that extra cool factor. And it's just like a really nice all natural part that I think people just love. And the reason why I didn't finish cutting that second loaf was because I gave it to my friend. She wanted to buy some more from me and decided to buy just a whole loaf from me. So I let her finish cutting it herself just for fun. Anyways, thank you guys again for joining me on this soapy adventure. Now I'm starting to get a little cold and I need to go back in. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. I love hearing from all of you and I'll see you in the next one soon.